Hi everyone, my name is Kosumi Rus, and today I'm going to present end-to-end -end flows in Report Designer. So let's start with the beginning and select Modeling Module and Query Designer. From here, we're going to create a simple query first. Let's select a CI type and add it on the map. Then let's add some conditions. For the conditions, we're going to select the platform vendor as being the, one, the provider for the AVS environment. When we, when we hover on the node, we can see the condition that we ju have just added. Going to the step two in a guided manner, we will not actually fulfill this step and just simply skip to save as a simple query. After we inserted the name for our query, we're going to finish this particular step. Now we have just created the query. From here, we can start from this particular query and create a report. Since we already added the CI type and the conditions, we can go ahead at the next step and select the layout for our report. Let's click next. Now we are in the step two. Here, we simply need to select the attributes that we want. We either search for a particular attribute or we can multiple select different attributes from the list. After we finish this step, we can go to the step number three. But before going to the step three, we're going to save our report. The step three refers to compliancy. We're not going to select a particular policy now, but we're going to create a widget for our home screen. In the widget, I can select the chart type and the color scheme. Let's select pie chart for now. This is our newly created report. As you can see, I have different data and different CI types there that actually matches the node and the condition. I can open the report and browse the data. Now, from the same open existing resource, I can open the freshly created report. Since I completed the first two steps, I can go to the third step. And now I would like to create a compliance report. For this report, we'll need to select the policy. In this case, let's create one. Creating the policy is very simple as a simple query. So let's add a few CI types. So we're going to add a couple of AVS related resources, such as Amazon account and maybe some IP. So once I click the plus button, it automatically related my CI type to the one that I have selected. I can delete the 
links between the CI types, or I can simply add different ones. In this case, I would like to know that my node has the related CI type that I have just selected, but I can also add some conditions. First, let's change the cardinality for IP's address. Let's make sure that my node has at least two IP addresses. Now, let's set a condition on the node. Since all my nodes that I have have a particular naming convention, I would like to make sure that it is actually respected and should, this policy should enforce this. After calculating and see the result, it, it seems that my policy is actually a valid one. So we're going to save now the newly created policy. This would be my policy on the AVS. After I did this, my newly created policy is already available here. Let's select it, apply it on top of my report and have a preview of the results. I can immediately see the counts of compliant data and non-compliant data. Going to the last step, I can save my newly created compliance report and also create a compliance widget out of it on my home screen. Since I don't want to add a description, I'm just going to save it. Now we can compare the two reports side to side. One refers to inventory, the second one refers to compliancy. I can open the compliance report and also the other reports directly from the home screen. It's very easy to browse the non-compliant data and see the results of why the data is non-compliant. In this case, the topology that I have in my policy is not respected. In the same similar manner, I can see the compliant data. Thank you everyone for watching this. Have a nice day.